Welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Um, so we're back at Folsom Prison here, episode two of <laughs> our third crack at building a mega prison. Now, our foundation all the way around is done. I accidentally kind of screwed up and started placing some walls. Um, so like if I go to my plans here, you can still see a bunch, but like I started putting in some and then I was like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be showing these guys this stuff. Uh, but we've got basically the perimeter wall done. We've got fencing around forestry. We've got most of the doors installed as far as I can tell, uh, with the exception of jail doors in here. And then what else? We've got fence there to kind of make this area all enclosed, uh, but outdoor. So that's cool. So now what we need to do is go in and start finishing out the walls to designate the rooms. Now, this one here, if you remember, is going to be our second psych psychiatrist's office. We don't need it yet, and we might not need it, period. If we do a good job keeping guys from going insane, then the reward will be we won't need that office. Also, if we do a good job keeping everybody from killing each other, or getting overdoses and whatnot, then we might not need a bigger infirmary than that right there. Um, so anyway, what I want to do before I make this wall right here is confirm that this is enough space for the kitchen. Uh, so basically, let's go to planning, objects, get rid of that. Now, I'll have four cookers, which would be eight spots. And then I'll need eight fridges, which would be a two by eight spot. And then I need three sinks. And like, I'll put a bin there and I'm gonna put a recycle bin there. So that is big enough, just like that. So now it's just start throwing down walls, baby. Like boom, boom. Since there's going to be a staff door here and a staff door here, this can just be an open hallway straight into the staff room. So that's what I plan on doing. There's our foreman or our uh, psychologist's office next to the common room. So they've got a short walk to do behavioral therapy. These are going to be toilet stalls. This is the room just enclosing the power station. Uh, the good thing about this being indoors and next to this is that it should put off a lot of heat and heat that room all by its lonesome. And we've got common room into a gymnasium. Oh, also, you see, like, why are we down at 260 grand when when I put down the stuff for the foundation? It only took like 200,000 of the 500,000 that I had. And it's because they also had to put down lights like even though it tells you how much it's going to cost when you first do that, there are additional items for your bill of materials that are required, particularly if you also have auto lights turned on, which I thought about turning it off and then just said, you know what, forget it. We'll just leave it. It's not a huge nuisance to have to go back and relocate a few light bulbs because they're in the middle of a wall. So that's that. All right, so that actually worked out pretty well. Um, I think that's everything in the, you know, admin buildings. Now we just need to do the cell block. That one's done already, and that's about the point where I realized, like, oh, nobody is getting to see me do this. Not that this is super exciting, but um, it's, you know, it's a part of the process, and I figure you should kind of see the process, right? I also thought about limiting the number of solitary cells that we have because it seems like even though a lot of times we end up with guys that are waiting to go to solitary I and I have open cells, they don't use them right away and I don't understand why that is. Maybe I'll learn a little bit more about that as I do some more research for tutorials. I'm hoping that I don't uncover more information in the process of doing tutorials. Uh, but we'll find out. Speaking of which, just to give you an idea, I'll take a break of doing these walls here in a second and show you what all I've done so far. 
So we've got basically an introduction to the tutorial series, and then we've got one covering reception and holding cells. We've got one covering cells and dorms. We've got one on the canteen, kitchen, showers, which is pretty straightforward, yards, offices, infirmary and morgue. And I think that's it so far. Um... I'm working on others, but we're just kind of going a little bit at a time. So, anyway, I might learn things about these other rooms eventually that it's like, oh, light bulb moment. And we want to redo some things, but I will do my best not to ever restart again. Because <laughs> it does get kind of old going through this, you know, several day process, honestly, of designing the prison and then starting construction and getting to the point where you can actually do intake so and I'm sure we'll learn things about this layout that I don't necessarily like um, and particularly my fear is that it's too easy for the guys to escape by just digging under this wall and running straight for the perimeter wall and climbing over uh, or climbing over this wall right here, then climbing over that wall. I'm not sure. You know, the, the hope is that the freedom that I give them by having it be somewhat outdoors uh, limits their desire to escape in the first place. Like, I'm hoping that, like, the suppression factor works in my favor and the game mechanics help me in that regard. Where, like, in real life, if I was a prisoner and I was like, dude, I can climb that fence and I can climb that fence and I'm a free man. There's no guards here that are armed. There's no snipers, you know, because I won't have those early on. And that's what I'd be thinking if I was a prisoner. Like, there ain't even barbed wire at the top of this fence. Like, psh, I'm out of here. See y'all later. I'm going to watch Monday Night Football. Um, but anyway. We will see whenever we get there. Now, the other reality is that this design... Let me back out after I finish these walls. So, if we go... I think that's all the walls. Now, if I back out all the way... This is right down the middle of this main section of land. So, I don't have room for any more, like start over and build one here i'm gonna have to buy more land if i want to expand now there's two ways i could do it i could go you know either actually there's a lot of ways i could do it i could go up down left or i could go across the street to the right um i think i think i actually might try and go across the street i've never really built over this direction in a playthrough and what i'm thinking is um we do that and then there was something if i go like this it was like bridge grass road bridge that would go like from here over how does it work um oh it's because there's a fence in the way that perimeter wall is in the way but if i just go like this no uh maybe like this is it because there's a truck there? Like, what's the deal here? Can I do it up here? I swear I fin figured this out the other day. No, not there. There. So there can't be anything in the way, but boom. 2200 bucks, and there would be a bridge going across the street. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use that, but what I'm thinking is that basically, like, starting right here, I have a bridge going across, and then maybe I have, like, a road gate... That goes to the wall on the other side. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But it could be steel footbridge. How does that work? I'll have to figure it out. Steel footbridge B. We'll, we'll mess around with it once we get there. But obviously that's a long way off. So, all right. My guys are installing walls all around the facility. Now, there are places that I can go ahead and start doing some installations if I wanted to. Deliveries is pretty empty here because these guys are bringing, like, look at this garbage. One piece of brick. 
on an entire supply truck, like one little stack of brick. And it's because I made all those separate little individual orders for brick to build all these walls. And the game hasn't figured out, like, just wait until you've got a truckload and deliver a truckload instead of, you know, the way they're doing it here. This is just crazy. Like, why is this truck even still sitting here? Get out of here. So anyway, um, I'm going to give them a moment. Wait, did I put walls down? Yeah, I think I got everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, I could start ordering stuff that's going to go into these rooms. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do uh, room designation at least where we can? Like, that's an office. That's an office. Those are offices. That's an office. That's an office. And then right down here is an office. Okay, so there's my offices. Storage is going to go like that right there. And that right there. These are dormitories. This is a dormitory. That'll all get fixed once there are walls. So like that, you can see, fixes that problem. So, boom. So we'll do this so that we at least know what's supposed to go in each place whenever we start installing stuff or whatever. And then I think I'll start with uh, the offices as far as bringing in objects because I want to get those done so that I can get my warden, get him doing some research, get... Uh, Okay, so we got that. Now let's get our solitary, which there's two on the north west end of every block up there, and then two on the southwest end of these blocks down here. Boom. So we got lots of solitary. Let's go ahead now. Let's work our way back up here. We got reception. Boom. I'm not sure I'm going to designate this as anything. Having a security guard there, um, I can just station one there. And I can put a desk, but not call it an actual room so that I don't have to have a filing cabinet in there. That's just kind of weird. So, all right, then we got holding cell. I realized after I designed this that I needed the wall to jut out right here so that I could put a door because this hallway didn't start in the right spot. So... It's not a big deal. Um, then we got showers right there. We've got parole, like so, and like so. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, visitation, where are you? Boom. Right there. Wait. What is this little hallway? Oh, what a disaster. <sighs> that's a design flaw oh you know what it is it's so like let's go ahead right here we're gonna put a staff door um this is so as visitors come in they come down this hallway they'll break off here to go to visitation I, get, I mean, I didn't really need that separation, but it'll work. It's just strange. And then a staff door there will allow them to allow a prisoner in here to go to visitation. I don't want them to just be able to go straight to visitation. But like this here, why is this door here? We'll make it a staff door, I guess, so that if for whatever reason staff's cutting down through here, they can get straight to security. But that's just weird looking. Whatever. Um. Okay. What other rooms do we need? Canteen. Boom. And then up here, there's also going to be canteen. That is staff only canteen. These won't be designated as rooms because they are bathrooms. And then 
Where does that canteen start? That'll be our staff room. Something like that. Um, wait, we're not done yet. Because over here is our second canteen. And then this one ends up being a little bit weird because of the shape of the room. It'll be something like that for the staff canteen and that for the staff room. Is that good? I think that covers all of it. It's not a big deal. Just so some of it is called staff room, although get rid of... Yeah, whatever. Some of it needs to be called staff room. Some of it needs to be called canteen. Doesn't matter how much, really. Well, I guess maybe it does a little bit, but you get the point. All right, that's that. And then common room. Wait, did I? This can't be anything. Okay, it's not. We got chapel. We need library. I can't do yet. Laundry, I can't do yet. Classroom, I can't do yet. Mail room, I can't do yet. Cleaning cupboard, I can't do yet. Kennel, armory, can't do. Workshop, can't do. Security, can't do. So we've done pretty much all the rooms that I can do, with the exception of the psychiatrist's office. So let's actually make that designation there. All the other ones I think we've got, because they all have numbers on them. Oh, wait, yards. Yard number one. Yard number two. And kitchens. Kitchen number one. That's 10 by 7. This one's bigger, I think. 12 by 7. That's okay, though. All right. So now let's come over here, and let's tell these guys to bring in some stuff for my offices. We'll do two first. I want to be deliberate about this, because one thing that I learned about building offices is that whichever one was finished last is the one that your next staff member will occupy. So like, speed this, oh, well, we've got it sped up. Whichever one of these offices gets done first, the warden will go take that office. Or actually, whichever one, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's whichever one was done first. So we wanna make sure that these offices get the people that we want. So we got to kind of time um, when we actually add staff members. Let's go like this, and then let's tell them to... I want you to expedite production up here, guys. There we go. So I want this office for the warden. So we're going to tell them to prioritize it. Oh, we have a problem here. They can't get to deliveries. Duh. <sighs> That's why they're all sitting there. Let's... Oh, do I even... Uh, here's what we're going to have to do. Demolish wall. Demolish wall. And then put a staff door there. Come on. Somebody come and demolish this wall, please. Holy moly. Where are all my workers? And what are they doing? How? Oh, how are they? Wait, how are they getting these deliveries in there? What are these? Oh, those are truck drivers. So they have to go all the way around the building and come up. Well, nope, they've got to go down around here. And then they've got to come through here and out that door. Now they can go this way. And they're like, oh, thank you. Now look at how quick these guys are moving. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now let's get this stuff and get it installed. Eh? Much better. Whew. That was kind of, uh, that one's on me, guys. I'll own that one. I want this office done. What are we bringing here? Brick, brick, brick. 
Lots and lots of brick. Wait, what is this? Prisoner uniforms? Brick. Why are we bringing in prisoner uniforms? We don't even have prisoners. Staff door. Staff door. Food trays. <sighs> Eventually, they'll bring these desks and stuff, and they'll get those installed. I don't want to start building out other stuff until we've got that done, because I want to get bureaucracy going sooner rather than later, because we need to do a bunch of research. Getting that done is going to open up more grants and stuff so that I can get a bunch more cash. Um, there we go. There's our desk. Here comes, I'll bet, uh, well, bringing in another desk. Why did he just set that there? What in the world? Oh, weird. Okay, see this desk, or that office is done. Warden, boom. And he is, now that's his office. See that? Now, Warden, please research finance. Go ahead and do maintenance after that. As soon as finance is done, I can hire an accountant and we'll get 5,000 bucks. That accountant is going to research extra grant. So we'll get more money by taking on another two grants actually once this one is done so how you like them apples all right our workers are looking for stuff to do right now so i guess we can go ahead and while we're at it or while we're waiting go like that and that and that is that right that's how we want that. Boom. 73%. All right, in the holding cell, we need some benches. Bench, bench. Where's the radio for them? Let's get a couple toilets. Boom, boom. A couple showers in here, and that will complete those two rooms. Um, okay. Hire an accountant. Ready? Boom. There's my accountant's office. Now, uh, let's go into the bureaucracy tab. Please research that. And tax relief. Uh, they're doing maintenance. Then I want you to go ahead, I guess, and do security. Doesn't really matter which one. We're going to get to all of them before long. All right, so that one's done. Let's get that one going. And then once the extra grant's done, I'm going to go ahead and just do long-term investment. So we'll get both of those going. Now, that basically means that I don't have any incentive to build any of these like rooms just yet. Because I'll still need to hire people when we get there. So ultimately what I want to try and do is slowly start working my way through the prison. Putting the bare minimum that we need to finish each room. And I'm talking like in offices... They're not getting, um, they are not going to get a, a sofa for now because we want to save that money for when we need it. Uh, let's see. There's also going to be an office here. So the chair will go there. Office desk there. Ooh, filing cabinet. So let's undo those and switch the location. So, wait, filing cabinet's facing the wrong way. There we go. Where'd the office chair go? There it is. Boom. There's my office. All right. Let's. let's I gotta stay focused. Let's start on one side of the building and work our way across. So, in this office will be a lawyer. And then I think we'll have... Who else will we have? A chief. So the chief is going to go here as well. And that will be the end of these administrative offices. Boom. Okay. Up here will be toilet, 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 toilet. Actually, you know what? I'm tired of sitting in the dark. Let's get some power up in this mug. Boom. 
Um, and then the water pump station goes there. Now, as far as power, I think what I'm going to do is basically like this one will cover to this cell block. Okay, something like that. And then I guess I'll go over this way and down and then over and down. Um, I might need to keep coming this way. I think that gets, let's actually go like that. That'll get that hallway. And let's go like that. And that should cover all the offices. So that's going to cover like this section. This little guy, we're going to run... Uh, how are we going to do this? Yeah, I think he's going to get all these buildings, or all these rooms down here. Okay? That's your job. Now, I'm going to need capacitors. I get it. This one is going to go up this wing, and then over to this, uh, to these cell blocks. Like that. Connect them. You're going to cover this cell block as well. Now, I wanted to make sure that I got down to this doorway because there will be metal detectors in there. There's also going to be metal detectors there. There. Um, I think that will cover the utilities in the um, kitchen. There's going to be one there. I don't think there needs to be one. Actually, yeah, we're going to have one there coming out of forestry because I think they can get, uh, like, an axe and some other things out there. So if I use them for, for labor out there, we want to make sure they can't get anything out of there. I need to have one. Wait a minute. My infirmary doesn't have a doorway, does it? It does not. So we'll put a door there and there i guess now utilities where did i have that right there that'll cover that metal detector and there will be one in the kitchen as well i think that's it guys no common room i don't know if they can get contraband out of there or not but we'll put a metal detector in there to be safe. I think the gymnasium is... I'll, I'll maybe have to do research on these. Um, we'll do... In fact... I don't know about the library. Parole. I'm pretty sure we're safe in parole. But I'm going to put one just in case. Never be too safe. It's a lot of metal detectors, guys. I think that covers all of the rooms that they will have access to. Um, oh, wait. How about reception? Durr. And let's go ahead and run it out to the front door while we're at it. There we go. That's all of our uh, electrical cables, I think, that we'll need to run. We'll deal with water in a little bit, but for now, I will at least run pipes around the exterior of the facility a little bit concerned about escapes using the plumbing but again i'm hoping that i build this prison in such a way that they don't feel the urge to escape you know what i mean all right there's our plumbing still got 191,000 bucks um Dude researched bank or uh, extra grants, so we can. Oh, see, I need a foreman. The foreman is going to be down here. But I see, I screwed up. I need to put other people in there first, like the chief. I hope that they finish this one. See, he went to that room. I need to research legal. And I want to see if legal will go there. 
Because this is where I want the foreman. You know what I mean? I could, like... Here, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll go like this. Make that not an office. That's a psychiatrist's office. And just to be safe, make that not an office. Now I can hire this foreman, and he's going to go there, because that's the only office. Boom. Um, all right. So I've got a foreman. I can now research those things. I probably shouldn't do any more than I need to, but I'm going to want prison labor right out of the gates, I think. We will need health. We will need education. I want deployment for sure, patrols. I don't necessarily need an armory just yet. I'm going to do it, though, so that I can build the building. And once he's got patrols, I can research dogs. Let's get micromanagement. Just get them all. Get them all! Might as well go ahead and do intelligence. I thought I did remote access, but apparently I didn't. Why not? We'll have enough money. I'm pretty sure I researched all those things when I did this earlier, so... Now, let's go to the staff canteen. One serving tray can feed... Um, It'll hold 40 trays. So 40 people can eat from this serving tray. Right there. 40 meals. Boom. We're not even going to have room for 40 people to sit at. So if we just go like that. And then boom. 32 of my staff can eat in this canteen right here with just what we've put down right there. Now, we're also going to give them... Where is recycle bin? It's down here. We're going to put a recycle bin in here. We're environmentally friendly. Uh, now, staff room requirements. Wide sofa and drink machine. We'll put two wide sofas. We're going to give them a couple of TVs. I don't want to, you know, have them be complete... Like, my staff, I'm... I want them to be happy. So early on, we're going to try and do some things to make sure that they are content. We're going to put pool table there. We're going to put... I forgot that you can put, like, bathroom sinks. They would go like this on the edge of the wall. Let's put a couple of those in for them to wash their hands. And then, where did those hand dryers go? I just saw them. I just, how in the world did I lose track of that? I had the bathroom sink. All right, let's just go like this. And dryer. We'll put one there and there. Do those need power? I can't remember. All right. Here I am already adding stuff that I don't need. I said we're going to put the bare minimum in here, and then I start building it out and I forget that money is actually a thing so staff room starts here that's where the drink machine will need to go that will complete the staff room kitchen we need four cookers we're going to just put them all the way up against this wall one two three and four and then you're going to have a bin and a recycle bin now we need eight fridges so it'd be like that and then we need three sinks right one two three that's it uh we need sprinklers so we're going one two three then we'll go on the middle dot then we'll go one two three again then we come on this side of the wall by three spaces and put them basically in the same spots then we come on this side of the wall and do the same thing. Just in case it spreads. That's that kitchen. Now we have a canteen. Now, we're going to put serving tables. Ideally, we'll try and get them like on each wall around the perimeter. I need to make sure that I leave room for a shop window there. So I actually want that like right there, I think. 
And then let's put one over here as well. In fact, that would be four. I don't need that many, but that will make it to where uh, it alleviates congestion, and that's kind of important in a room like the uh, canteen because of the fact that otherwise you might run into issues with brawls. Now, we're also going to give these guys a water cooler, a drink machine, and a snack machine. So we're spicing things up in the canteen a little bit. I could have waited to do that late, till later, but I'm like I said, I think I've got the money situation under control. Although we're losing money right now on a daily basis. Uh... It's okay, though, because I kind of want them building out these rooms because until they do that... Uh, I can't complete any grants, so it's all right. Or at least I can't complete some of the grants that I wanted to complete. All right, that's that canteen. Yard, I'm going to just leave it completely open for right now. We'll put what we can in there when it comes time to do so. Parole, we need visitor tables. Boom, boom. Boom and boom. Visitation. I'm going to do half capacity for right now uh, so that it's not that big of a deal. Psychiatrist does, in fact, need stuff. So we'll go ahead and just give them the stuff that they need. Why? Why are we making this difficult here? Come on, zoom in on the psychiatrist's office and just give me... Why is it not shown? Oh, it's because of the yard. It's getting the yard. I don't want the yard. And filing cabinet. Right there. Okay. So that's that. Security we can't do yet. Um, what's going on up here? Psychology, remote access, intelligent prison. What's going on up here? All right. Um... Whatever. Um, I think we're doing okay. Rooms. Okay, I can build out a mail room. It needs a sorting desk and a table. So, we go like this. Sorting desk. Boom. Table. Boom. That's our mail room. Cleaning room doesn't need anything. Just need to name it. The classroom, I believe, needs an office desk and... School desks, office desk, boom, school desk, boom, laundry, oh, cripes, how much it was it for laundry, I believe, well, make the room first, laundry goes like this, see these guys are keeping up, so I can wait to have them start building stuff. So laundry, library, I'll just name them for now. Now laundry needs, I need three washing machines. That's way less than I thought that I did. I need five ironing boards. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a huge laundry room and I think I needed nine or 10 laundry baskets. So let's just go 12 that's fine okay that's the laundry room chapel needs an altar a prayer mat and a pew 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 one two whatever let's just my washer's going and it's making noises that concern me a little bit <laughs> all right the gymnasium needs a gym mat and a weights bench so, there you go. That room is done. In here, I know I need chairs for behavioral therapy. But the common room doesn't need anything else. So, for right now, just to make sure that we can open the facility, we're doing the bare minimum in those rooms. Canteen uh, is going to need... 
a serving table and then it needs places for people to sit I want to try and get as many tables in here as I can uh, I can't really do one there I could do one here in front of the toilets <laughs> they got a nice view and then maybe bench space bench we'll go like that I guess that'll work it's not ideal but uh, now I need benches so boom boom that's a lot of seating capacity up to 40 staff members can be eating at any given time so that will finish this area although let's put a bin there and a recycling bin maybe um hmm. i don't like this it's a little tight uh let's put it right here boom now let's give them a water cooler now they also need a in the staff room we need a drink machine what else and a wide sofa we're gonna give them two wide sofas just for now I don't want to overdo this I gotta be careful with my money that 142 grand will disappear really really fast now we've got an infirmary here and a morgue there so we need medical beds I'm only gonna put four in for now we'll put more slabs like that that'll cover those two rooms right yep this kitchen is a little tight remember so let's make sure we start against this wall one two three and a bin let's get our cookers we'll start against the wall again one two three four and I've got room for recycle bin nice and now the fridges will go down the middle like so a kitchen that size can feed 80 prisoners comfortably with six cooks I should point out oh notebook page prison architect wait a minute 2010 is that when they started designing this game that is crazy to think that it's that far back man okay let's let it go no I don't want it moving at all I'm just losing money if that happens so let's go to the canteen and we've got table 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 uh and there right and then we need benches on both sides of all those tables Ooh, i need serving tables in here guys oh man this is not this isn't going to be ideal uh, in fact, move that down and put a bin in the middle. And then up here, I guess we'll put a couple more. Try and space them out a little bit. Now, I don't want to discriminate. So they're going to get a water cooler, a drink machine, and where's the snack machine. There it is. Boom. Let's also give them a bin. And a recycle bin. Booyah. Um, I'm not going to put in metal detectors until we know that we've got enough money for it. There will be a shop front right there. Now, you'll notice that I installed a jail door there for that shop. I need to do the same thing over here. I did. The reason is I can lock it open like 
like that so that they can get in there anytime they want. I'm fine with that. But what I don't want is the inability to lock that room down in case there is a riot. I need to be able to lock those two rooms down. Um, so that sets us up to be able to do that. So that's that. Now, um, we're at 45 minutes, which is, you know, where I like to kind of try and limit, uh, show length, show episode lengths too. So I think this is a good place to stop. We've got a ton going on here, uh, but we're off to a good start. The problem now is that I've got 130 grand and I need to build out everything in these rooms. Um, before I forget, actually, let's go into grants because I can accept a third one. So we'll get that one going. But once I um, start hiring people, I'll hire two guards and two cooks, and I will get 10000 bucks to finish that one. I'll have to hire a couple of doctors, but then I'll get however much money I get for that one. The staff well-being, whenever I hire guards, up to five of them, they'll be on break, and I'll get another big chunk of change cell block a is one that i will have finished the moment we start and that's 40 grand prison maintenance visitation rights uh so a bunch of these i will have the moment that i actually click the button to kind of start hiring people and whatnot so i'm not real worried about money just yet but we do need to be careful and make sure that before we get too low we go ahead and hire the guards and the cooks it's going to eat into our daily cash flow but it will give me so much more money to get started and not have to wait to put like more views and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to have it be bare bones right when we open, but if that's what it takes, that's what we'll do. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time.